Dave Sullivan is Aileron's executive in residence and a business leader with decades of hands-on experience. In the midst of a challenging recession, he stopped by the Aileron campus to offer his insights and advice. How can you stabilize your business during a downturn? How can you position your business to thrive when the economy recovers? Sit back and hear from Dave as he weighs in on these crucial issues and much more. Let me tell you why Dave, though, we thought was really important um, and, a, and a perfect fit to kind of talk about this tonight. Perhaps it's because he's run organizations of all sizes, you know, very, very large and very small, and he started it. He's learned how to take some lemons and make the lemonades. Perhaps it's because he helped found Aileron um, during the 90s when we were hit here hard, really hard at home. Dave has a really incredible ability to take something that seems so complex to all of us, and I'm sure you've all been at the other end when he's asked one of those really obvious questions that you weren't thinking of, and you were thinking of all these other things, and he asked you a really point blank question. And I've been a business owner on the other end of Dave Sullivan, and he's asked some really good questions, but he has this really great gift of taking things that are very complicated and putting them into simple concepts that help you kind of be able to go, I can do that, and we can do that, and that's a really way we can drive it. And then the other piece is his passion and his drive. He's passionate about what you do. Um, he calls all the time. He's always feeding new ideas and things like that. So without further ado, welcome to Aileron, and please join me in welcoming Dave Sullivan. Uh, about six or seven months ago, we started thinking about, we've been putting on events, and maybe we ought to try putting on an event with one of our own folks. And so we said, well, what should we talk about? And at that period of time, we said, you know, what we really ought to be talking about is picking the right customer. So I started thinking about, as I was going back thinking when we started this, what was going on six or seven months ago? The campaign season was well underway. We were getting used to saying President Hillary, right? Uh, I'm from Chicago. We were pretty convinced that the Cubs finally had a shot at the World Series. Uh, we, we sat there and realized that if there's anything that we need to hang on to during a bad period of time, it's our blue chip stocks, right? We were sure of that. And probably the most important and driving issue going on in our mind at that time was what were Brad and Angelina going to name the twins, right? So all of the major events have now gone by. Oh, yeah, there was one other thing. We saw a recession coming. We saw problems happening. And what we did was what we've always been known to do in my company, in your company, we said the six horrible words, it's not a problem yet. I used to think that was five words, and then Bill Matthew told me it's is a contraction, so therefore it's two words. <laughs> so I, I now say there are six words, it's not a problem yet. And, and we wait too often until we experience the difficulty before we attack it. And so one of the things we want to be talking about tonight is moving out of this. And we're going to get into some detail about how to do that. But I, was, I went to a higher power. I was trying to figure out where could I get a higher power that could kind of sum this thing up appropriately. And I, I went high and low, looked at all the management gurus, and I finally came up with this one. John Wayne, right? John Wayne said it best. Courage is being scared to death, but you saddle up anyway. And so that's what we're going to be talking about is the importance of saddling up. It's tough to do when you're reading headlines like this. Stock market losing 40% of its value. U.S. auto industry producing the fewest cars since 85. Gasoline prices triple what they've been. Latest, biggest banks in the U.S. collapse. Prices of food the highest in eight years. We've never seen anything like it, right? Let me put a few dates of these headlines up for you. We've not seen all of it possibly, but we've been through a lot of these things before. These are not things that hit us today. We've gone through downturns before. We're still here. We might have had to retool our businesses. We might have had to rethink how we go forward. But in effect, this is not the first recession. This is not the first problem period we've seen. We've seen. So sort of the theme for tonight is what I want to talk about and get through is getting your company in a survival mode is not good enough. That what we're going to be talking about is getting your company in a stability mode to ensure that you can come out of it and take on future opportunities. I've been making a prediction wherever I go that as many companies will fail in the upturn as have failed in the downturn. And the reason they'll fail in the upturn is they've done so much cutting of muscle, bone, and tendon, they're not able to handle the opportunity that it comes up to them in the future. 
I was telling somebody on the aisle, I got a good friend of mine, a client of mine, he's a manufacturer's rep. He sells these kind of equipment, and he sells for Panasonic and Sony. He'd built about a $100 million rep agency. And he, over the last six to eight months, he kept thinking, man, we're getting too attractive to Sony. We're getting too attractive to Pit Panasonic, not to continue working with us, but to get rid of us because we're being paid too much commission. So he started cutting way back to the bone. Got rid of a lot of his people, got rid of a lot of his service, and he pretty much owns the Central, South American, and Mexican markets. And all of a sudden, what happened is he didn't have a problem. Sony started cutting his direct sales force. Panasonic cut its direct sales force. And they said, here is $200 million of new opportunity for you. Man, he and his team are jumping around, high five, and I said, that will absolutely kill you. Because you've cut back so far, you can't handle the 100 million you've got, let alone take on 200 million. So if you want to come out of this, you need to think about coming out of it to do what? Coming out of it to take over what? Coming out of it to make sure you survive. So I, I listened to some of the presentations earlier, and I think you know, they were right on the money. And you know, we talked about cash and cash flow. But you know, let me say it a little different way. What I measure is the length of the runway. Pretty simply stated, and I heard it said by our experts here, that basically the runway is determined by your burn rate, what you spend per month, versus how much you have. And so the first step in understanding your runway is knowing what that number is. And then secondly, figuring out means you can employ to extend that runway. But what's the purpose of a runway? Not just to land, but also to take off. And so when you're positioning yourself to survive and be stable, more importantly, you're positioning yourself out to come out of this with the opportunities in front of you. I am talking to many people who are doing well because of the fact their competitors are doing poorly. I'm talking to many people who are doing well because they think about what they want to do, they understand the principles of management to keep their businesses alive, and they're employing them even more today when times are tough than they did when times are good. And so as we think through what we're talking about, it's the concept of not just stabilizing, it's the concept of stabilizing and growing. So we're going to talk about some of these things. What options do you have today? Well, you can do nothing, and you can wait it out, circle the wagons, and hope this storm passes. You can take the second tack, and which is take a knee-jerk reaction, which will then cause your business to fail. That'll be your own act of aggression to shut your company down. Or the third one is you can sit back a little bit, think, figure out what's worth working on, and then figure out what the plan is to attack it, and then act. 